What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video here today. Finally, we're here for the end of Mission Challenges, Stage 8, the final stage. And, uh, not gonna lie, I've been wanting to get this over and done with for quite a while. Uh, I want to get on with campaign mode. Um, I've taken the executive decision. I'm not gonna bother recording circuit experience. I don't even know whether I'll actually do that or not. And, uh... I'm just going to get straight into the campaign mode because I just want to get racing, but uh, anyway, we'll uh, worry about that another day, but we're here for the final uh, stage of um, Mission Challenges. I couldn't think of what I wanted to say there, sorry about that, but uh, anyway, fairly scruffy start uh, here to the first stage. I think this is a one May three lap race around the Nürburgring in, oh, I don't even know what this is, I think it's an Aston Martin of some description, and uh, yeah, that's about everything uh, that I can, uh, yeah, think of need to, uh, I don't even know where the hell I'm trying to go with that sentence, so just forget about it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm on about, but anyway. Uh, making solid progress at the moment, that's a send up the inside of that Porsche, Jesus. Oh, and we slide a bit on the exit, I don't know if we got help then, but we definitely lost the back end. Whether we got tapped from that Porsche or not, I'm not too sure. Already on the back of a Ferrari now, we should get past, and we do, you can see him in the rear view mirror there. We just absolutely blow past him. McLaren next him, P2, where the hell are we going? Off the road by a mile. Get back on, and uh, we'll try and get by this McLaren. We should just be able to out drag him, and just like that, you can see him in the mirror. We get by without a care in the world, job done, and uh, there we go. Uh, a few moments later we take the lead and uh, that was it for the first test uh, we ended up about what 10 seconds up the road so we demolished the fieldy in this first test of eight and there we go gold once again so good way to start out this video uh, I want to get through all these as quickly as I can so uh, some of these uh, tests are probably going to be once I take the lead or something like that, we're probably just going to cut to the end. Um, because otherwise this video would probably be about 40, 45 minutes long. And I really have no interest in sitting here for that long trying to, uh, yeah, trying to make a video. Particularly when it's on something like this, it doesn't need to be that long. But anyway, here we go for test number two. And we're at Suzuka for a two lap race. I uh, get to choose our car from our garage, anyone we like. So I've decided to jump in my Group 3 Hyundai Genesis uh, supercar that I run in a supercars league on GT Sport. Uh, it runs on Saturday night, 8pm uh, uh, my time. Well, it was 8pm or 9pm? I, I don't even remember, Jesus. I, I think it's 8pm, don't quote me on that, I could be wrong. That's just what I'm going to go with. So, uh, yeah, that will start up again. Uh, not this weekend, but the next. Uh, I think we'll be at Brazil. Uh, that should be uh, live up and running on the Transnation Esports uh, YouTube channel. So if you want to go and uh, come and check us out at that point in time and uh, probably just laugh at some of us and, um, yeah, just... We'll try and put on a good show like we always do. We had some real cracking uh, battles in the first two rounds, so I'm, uh, it's a good thing to be a part of. But anyway, uh, getting back to the action, making solid progress through the field here at the moment. Decent run out of Spoon, double overtake, that's up to P4. Next up is a McLaren, they actually put us up to P3, and it does. Uh, final lap as well, only a short two lap race, so we do have time to get a real on here. We can't exactly sit still. Around the outside of a Mercedes, that was a bit awkward there. We had two wheels on the grass, but we made it work. Next up, Honda NSX, so we'll try and dispose of this man when we can. Around the outside, we should get that done, and yes, you can see him in the rear view mirror. Job done. Up into the lead now, and I think that is basically it. So we'll cut on now to the final chicane, and uh, yeah, we're able to pull away quite, quite convincingly. There we go, finally got the sentence out. Uh, almost winning this race by five seconds, but three, two, one, there we go. Gold once again, so that's test number two done. So 
two down, six to go. So uh, we're doing good at the moment. Now, one thing I do want to say is you'll probably notice that the reputation levels and everything don't correspond with uh, stuff that you may have seen in the uh, manufacturer series, for instance, uh, the first two rounds that I've uploaded. Uh, after this video, however, everything should uh, kind of um, look like it's uh, supposed to, I guess. <laughs> uh, that's just what I'm going to say because I can't think of anything else. But uh, anyway, here we are for test number three now, and Jesus Christ, this thing has got a lot of horsepower. Uh, I think we're at, uh, I didn't even see where we were at, so yeah, that was clever. Uh, only a short little three lap sprint race and three cars to overtake, so short little sprint here basically. Oh, that's close, we just make a move for PT there, might have squeezed that fella into the wall, so apologies there. But we'll cut on a few moments later again. Now we're trying to make a move for the lead, right up behind the leader. Trying to get through on the inside, we might have pushed the middle of the wall a little bit there, but we got the job done, and just like that, there we go. Gold, once again, so that's another one down, we're almost halfway, and uh, we're, we're doing good at the moment. Uh, one thing I do want to say as well, uh, as always, just thank you guys for the support on this channel, it's greatly appreciated, and uh, I know I probably bang on about it way too much, so sorry if I do, but... It really does mean a lot, so cheers for that, and uh, you know, hope everybody's well, love and life, because uh, I certainly am. But here we go, test number four, and we're on dirt this time, so we leave the tarmac behind, oh god, all there. And uh, okay, so it looks like I've forgotten how to drive on dirt, we've already hit the wall before we even technically made it around one corner, so that's very clever. Uh, looks like we've got to get through certain checkpoints and get back to the finish line before uh, the timer runs out. So we'll try and do that as quickly as we can whilst trying to negotiate our way through traffic as well. Uh, the AI kind of in awkward spots to overtake, but we're getting we're getting through them at the moment. Uh, one other thing to note, quite interestingly, is they're all road cars. Uh, well, everyone I've seen so far is uh, how I would class uh, as a road car. So, yeah, but anyway, up to P4 now as we go over all the Volkswagen. I think this might be a Mitsubishi up ahead. This will be a bit of a jump. Jeez, keep, keep it under control. I, I honestly contemplated actually lifting going over there, but I thought, nope, let's just, let's just go YOLO and keep the boot into it, and it paid off. Could have gone horribly wrong, but it paid off. But uh, here we go. I think the finish line is right here. There it is. There we go. All right. I thought I thought the finish line was actually a bit closer than uh, than what it was, but there we go. So halfway done. Only eight minutes into this video, so shouldn't be too bad. Maybe I don't know. My guess, 25 minutes maybe. So uh, yeah, we'll. Uh, We'll keep going on to test number five at Tokyo Expressway. And uh, what are we doing here? High speed battle, 10 laps. Once again, we can choose to jump into any car from our garage of a certain category. I've decided to jump into a Chevrolet Camaro that I have uh, done up in a uh, old Dale Jr. NASCAR livery. Obviously one of the greats of that sport, a true living legend and a man that I used to look up to when I was younger, uh, even uh, Dale Jr. now, um, uh, being on comms in NASCAR and whatnot. Uh, I still watch him, and I, I don't know about you guys, but I, I do watch a bit of NASCAR here and there, so I'm not just confined to watching what goes on in Australia. I do watch what goes on in other parts of the world, but uh, anyway, uh, getting back to the action making reasonable progress through this field at the moment, just trying to adjust how this uh, Chevrolet handles. Uh, it's very, very slidey, very tail happy, one thing I've noticed immediately. So just trying to keep this thing underneath us is proving to be a fair bit of a pain in the ass at the moment. But uh, we're making our way through this field pretty nicely, round the outside, that's up into P6. We'll try and sneak up the inside of these two if we can into this right-hander. Job done. That's up to P4. So only three more 
cars left to overhaul and we should get the lead and uh, theoretically speaking we should probably run away with it but uh, obviously mistakes could happen uh, I could completely bottle it which as we all know uh, has happened and more than likely will happen again but uh, here we go into the airpin they are driving incredibly slow and we're just going to drive clean around the outside of an Aston Martin or attempt to drive clean around the outside he's still there I think we should just be able to outpower him though and I think we've got the move done yes we have alright so we'll set up after the Ferrari in second now obviously just a big slipstream fest basically along this front straight Aston Martin still right there in the mirrors you can see the lights he does not want to give this spot up without a fight but we get the move done on the Ferrari slipstream just working wonders for us there 305 kilometers an hour as we come out of the tunnel there so this thing is moving uh, coming on a bit later on lap two we caught up to the leader and disposed of him and uh, that was it so here we come now into the pits uh, for our one and only mandatory pit stop uh, not gonna lie I quite like watching the pit stop animation um, it's just nice to see something different other than uh, either F1 or uh, I don't have any other analogies because F1's all I play but <laughs> anyway uh, re-emerging back on the track now still in the lead quite comfortably and we should just be able to cruise to the end without uh, a care in the world really and here we go cut to the final lap 3, 2, 1 cross the line and there we go so there we go gold once again clean sweep in this final stage at the moment only three more tests to go and then we can completely forget about mission challenges and move on to uh, to the main part of the game I guess if uh, if that's what you want to call it campaign mode and get some proper racing uh, underway but here we go blue moon speedway it looks like in our mercedes-benz amg gte or was that gt3 uh, jesus christ come on man <laughs> i can't even remember like what's directly in, in front of me like that that's just terrible but anyway here we go uh looks like we've got to get up to first uh we start all the way back down in 14th and you can see where the leader is on the mini map so we've got quite a bit of work to do here so uh, we got to get the hammer down here. 15 minutes to get up to the lead. Uh, I think this is definitely doable. Uh, I think we do have to make a mandatory pit stop. I'm not 100% sure, but I do believe that that is necessary. But uh, we'll worry about that uh, a bit later on into the race. But at the moment, it's making solid progress. Just uh, trying to weave our way through all these AI cars and uh, get up to the front as quickly as possible making a move in turn one now around the outside for P8 now we'll try and dispose of the Lamborghini Hurricane this will be for P7 he's in the slipstream with the Aston Martin though but we should still just get this done and we're going to make the move on the Aston as well for P6 and for good measure around the outside of an Audi R8 now for P5 so triple overtake in the space of less than 10 seconds there very nice move but cutting on a little bit later and we've caught up to the leading quartet making a move on the Mustang, disposed of him there goes the Impreza next up Corvette and the leader Dodge Viper we'll try and make a move on him down into turn one we come onto the front straight in P5 and by the time we get to turn one we are in the lead so we've overtaken the top four leaders and uh, that was basically it to be honest uh, coming into the pits now for our one and only pit stop uh, to refuel need a bit of fuel to get us home as uh, well look at that I, I ain't gonna make it on that I mean be realistic but uh, anyway a few other AI in the pits as well it looks like so hopefully we should still come out in the lead or if not close to it uh, waiting looks like it's P3 okay so not too bad, I think the two guys here do have to stop, so hopefully that can uh, help us out a little bit, but indeed they did. Now let's try something real quick. Oh god, that has not worked. Okay, well, made an absolute arse out of myself uh, right there. Uh, I was trying to pull a handbrake here, just for anyone wondering, but uh, 
Let's sure as hell it didn't work. So I will refrain from doing that in the future because I just made myself look like an absolute twat. So, yeah, but anyway, we got gold nonetheless. So moving on to the monot... Jesus, speak English. To the penultimate test of uh, the final stage of mission challenges. 30 minute endurance around the Interlagos. Jesus Christ, we're in the Group 1 cars here. Uh, in our Porsche uh, 919. Hello, Britain. Oh, save it, save it. Oh, we nearly lost it at turn one already. <laughs> they would look real bad if we had screwed that up. But uh, we survived. So, uh, looks like the goal is to get from 15 up to first. We've got 30 minutes to do so. With a mandatory pit stop required. Uh, we'll probably try and make that. My guess would be around the 15 minute mark, maybe, maybe a bit later. Uh, it really just depends on uh, how the tyres are and how the car feels and a uh, few wars as well. But um, anyway, making solid progress at the moment. Uh, he runs a little bit wide and we'll sneak up the inside of the American. That's up to uh, P12. Now trying to make a move on the Peugeot for P11. Around the outside into this right hander. And we get that done, yes we do. So, making good gains at the moment. Catching up to a bit of a train now a few moments later on. And that is a triple overtake through that right-hander. Very nice, very nice. And uh, that's up to P8. A few corners later again. And we're trying to pass another trio of cars. This is a battle P5. So, we'll get the move done on that man for P7. And just clean out traction. Uh, that uh, particular vehicle and that one is a bit of that traffic here. Jesus Christ, okay. Uh, we get through all that, okay. That's up to P5 now. And uh, all that traffic, that's a core of that. We'll send it up the inside of him. And uh, yeah, so up to B5 now. Four cars left to dispose of, and we'll be in the lead. And then it's basically just a case of bring the car home uh, smooth and straight. And we should be good for our seventh gold of this episode and then all we need is one more and we can forget this whole thing ever happened but <laughs> that's a weird way to that's weird phrasing that's a weird way to remember this but anyway but uh making a move for p3 now job done on i think that's a mazda what odd looking one as well but we're getting the move done on him cutting on a little bit later send it up the inside of a toyota hybrid there for p2 we're getting the move done on him Honda NSX being lapped, probably not the last time this race either, but we're getting the move done on him, and now we've got around about basically five seconds to close up to the Japanese driver in the lead. So cutting on uh, to lap nine, we have successfully closed the gap. We're going to send it up the inside. That was oh, that was a half hour seven there. That was uh, that was probably a bit naughty uh, from me there, but. Uh, Hey, what can I say, Roman's racing and basically in any form of motorsport, that's what you see, so that's, uh, you know, you race here, you get race, simple as that really, but uh, into the pits now for a one and only pit stop, uh, we've gone 22 minutes into this half hour endurance, so only 8 minutes left, uh, I wanted to try and go as long as I could so I didn't have to refuel for very long, and uh, yeah, hopefully that should be enough to get us uh, to the end, only eight and a half minutes remaining, so it shouldn't be too bad. And uh, yeah, we should be right to drag this thing to the end now and pick up another W here. Uh, what is this? Test number seven. And that was indeed the case. The Japanese driver come in, did his pit stop, released us into the lead, and that was literally uh, well, that's what happened. And uh, we come across the line and get gold for a seventh consecutive time and uh well one final test remains in mission challenges and then we can uh yeah we can start to get into campaign mode and uh whatever else i decide to do but uh one final test remains so let's go do it all right final test of mission challenges Four lap race around the North Shalifa in Group 3 cars. Holy shite. Uh, um, okay, this is... This is going to be fun. But, uh, 
Yeah, jumping in our little Iron Day Genesis supercar. Uh, pretty neat little thing. Um, it's got a reasonable amount of horsepower, but it's pretty good on its tyres, very good on its fuel, and uh, a beast through the corners. So I think a very well-rounded package to tackle this final uh, test of Mission Challenges. So here we go. Starting off in 16th place, first on our hit list is a Peugeot, Jesus, actually first on the agenda is getting back on the racetrack and uh, learning how to drive. Uh, now it looks like we've accomplished that and we are starting to uh, find our rhythm a little bit. Send it up the inside of the Peugeot there and we have finally gained the position up to P15. So hopefully now we can keep moving forward and uh, keep attacking some of these AI up the inside of that Mercedes P14. That was a uh, that was a real late dive there. Uh, to be brutally honest, I wasn't really planning on doing that, but uh, it just sort of happened anyway. But making a move on the Impreza now, now following the BMW coming down towards Hats and Back, send it up the inside. Very neat little move there. That could have gone horribly wrong, but we got it done. Uh, next up to where the Supra, we'll get the move done on him. That's up. P11, next up P10, McLaren 650S, so we'll try and make a move on this car uh, if we can, very very close between the pair of us, uh, we're going to send it up the inside are we, yes we are, as we mount that curve, and I'm not going to lie, when I actually hit that, I honestly thought I was actually flying off into the wall, but we saved it that time, a little bit later on, catching up to the back of the new scene GTR, up the inside, quite nicely there, uh, that's up to P9, next up Ferrari 458, we'll try and get by him if we can, send it, talk about, oh save it, oh that was close but yeah, talk about a send and a half, we come from a long way back there but we got it done uh, a little bit later on now, passing the Italian 4P7 who is beyond the wheel of I think that is an Aston Martin, so we'll cut on a little bit later again just out of the carousel Pass the BMW for P6, so we're making good gains at the moment. Oh God, get off the grass. And uh, just as I was saying, we're making good gains. We nearly go and completely throw it away, so yeah, there's that. But anyway, making a move on the Lamborghini Hurricane, that's up to P5, so already making very, very solid progress at the moment. Now we're trying to make a move on the Mercedes, uh, coming towards the end of lap one now. We actually hit him in the backside, now we're on the grass. Uh, pretty scruffy uh, few moments here but we should get that move done now as we go up the inside and we do so job done that's up to P4 and uh, next up are the three leaders and we're actually uh, going it uh, looks like we're gonna take the lead basically by the end of lap one so we've carved our way through this field pretty damn quickly and effectively here uh, the guy who was leading the race of Spaniard decided to come in at the end of lap one, so that's interesting, but for us, send it up the inside of that Audi in the hairpin, and it just like that, Bob's your uncle, job done, into the lead here at the Nürburgring, so we'll cut on to the end of lap two now, coming in for our pit stop, medium tyres, and as you can see where that little diamond is, uh, you really want to refuel up to there, uh, if you do need to refuel that is and as you can see literally like probably what two three seconds of gas and away we go re in the lead of the race quite convincingly and I can confidently say that that was everything that happened uh, we cruised around for the final two laps of the race not pushing too hard and we're gonna come around the final corner now up to the line to finally complete mission challenges this has taken way too long as far as I'm concerned but there we go it is finally completed get in there oh so there we go mission challenges is officially over done and dusted we've got gold on every single test so I think we actually end up with probably three or four prize cars uh, now we'll probably end up uh, with the one for getting all silver and all gold. But uh, before we see what those are, let's go collect our prize car for finishing stage 8. Alright, 
Let's sweet. We win a Bugatti Vision Gran Turismo Group 1 car. Now, let's see what we win for all silver. Alright, McLaren MP4-12C. A pretty neat little road car. But uh, now it's time for a gold prize. Let's see what this is. Alright, we win the Dodge SRT Tomahawk. Uh, very, very fast bit of gear right there. That thing uh, goes like a bat out of hell. But there we go. Mission challenges 100% completed. Gold on every single test. So that's officially done. And uh, yeah, I think, as I said at the start of this video, I'm not going to worry about uh, recording circuit experience. I don't even know if I'm actually going to bother doing that, period. Uh, I might just do it. Um, when I've got a bit of free time just for the sake of it if I'm feeling bored or something. But uh, the next video you see, uh, that isn't a manufacturer's race, uh, should be the beginning of campaign mode, or GT League, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, so uh, I'll try and get that underway maybe in the next three, four days. Uh, I'll see what goes on uh, with my whereabouts and um, just how certain other things progress. But uh, yeah, that's been today's video guys if you guys enjoyed remember to leave a like subscribe so you can stay tuned for plenty more and until my next video i'll see you guys next time peace out